Hello and welcome to 3D uh, Geometry. Uh, I've done uh, a few videos on uh, 3D Geometry before, and especially one on angles of elevation and depression. And I hope you've had a look at these and um, found them interesting. Now, this one I've made up again myself. Uh, it's a bit different from the last two. Uh, you almost always have a question on 3D Geometry in high paper IGCSE or GCSE. So I hope this might be of some interest to you. Uh, basically, we'll be asked to find the length AG and the angles AGE and AGF. Okay, now here we go. Right, in this slide, I've uh, recreated what we had in the first slide. And uh, effectively, we're trying to find uh, the length AG, which is this one here, and also to find uh, the angle AGE. And the angle AGE is this little angle here. Okay? Right. It, it makes sense to isolate the triangles involved. In, th in the working with 3D section, there are quite a few things going on at the same time. So it, it's always helpful to try and, and isolate the triangles involved. Now, in this case, the triangles involved are triangles EFG, uh, which is this one here. And AEG, which is this one here. Okay, and that's what I've got here. And to find AG, we first need to find EG. And to find EG, we make use of our knowledge of Pythagoras theorem. And EG is in effect is a hypotenuse, so EG will be EF squared. So it would be the square root of EF squared and FG squared. And that becomes 3 squared plus 7 squared, and that's equal to 58, uh, root of 58. So the square root of 58 is 7.616 centimeters. Now I'm working to 4SF. Now can you bear in mind that if you square 7.616, you should get 58. Now having got EG, we now have to find AG. Now, AEG is also a right angle triangle. So, AG will be the square root of EG squared plus AE squared. And that's 58 plus 4. And that's the square root of 62. And that gives us 7.874 centimeters. You can work it to 4SF. Now, to find angle AGE, and AGE is this one here. We need, to, because we know AE and we know EG, so we need to use the tan ratio here. So the inverse of tan of 2 divided by 7.616 is 14.71 degrees. Again, to 4SF. And that is the answer to question 2. Right, and this is the uh, most difficult of the three questions. And in this question, uh, we are supposed to find the angle AGF, and AGF, the angle AGF is this angle here. And it's difficult to find that. So in order to do that, I need to isolate the triangle A, F, G, and back to A. So the triangle with the green and the blue and the red going up to A. The difficulty here is that we don't know the value of AF. We know AG. We know FG. And we need to find AF in order to find the angle AGF. So AF, again using Pythagoras, AF will be the square root of AB squared, uh, sorry, AF will be the sum of the square root of AB squared and BF squared. And that, in effect, means 3 squared 
plus 2 squared. And 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, 9 plus 4 is 13. The square root of 13 is 3.606, as we've got here. Now, this is now our triangle. We know that AG from the previous slide is 7.874. We know that AF, which we just found AF, and that's 3.606. Uh, we know that um, uh, FG is 7. Now, I'm working to 4SF purely for the exercise, not that is the right thing, to, is the right accuracy. Okay, right. Now, we know three sides, we want to find an angle. Now, that suggests to me that we need cosine rule. Uh, you find that in almost every uh, IGCSE or GCSE question, there's always a cosine rule or a sine rule somewhere. Now, cosine rule is, is okay. The most difficult bit of cosine rule is when you try to find the angle itself, which is what we're going to do here. And uh, please have a look at my previous videos where I found the, 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 the lines using cosine rule. Okay, now cosine rule says uh, that, for instance, if you want to find AF squared, you need to find FG squared, uh, FG squared plus AG squared minus 2 times FG times AG cosine X where X is the angle of the value of angle AGF. So now if we take AF squared across and bring across to FG AG cos X, we end up with this. So to find cos X, we need to find FG squared plus AG squared minus AF squared, all of that divided by 2 times FG times AG. You must be very careful when you do this not to confuse the signs. Okay? So, cos X now becomes FG squared. We know FG squared from previous, um, FG squared is 7 squared, which is 49. And AG squared from, pre from last slide is 62 minus uh, AF squared, which is 13. Okay, now divide all that by the product of 2 and 7 and 7.874. I get something like 0 0.88890002. And uh, when you look it up on, if you do the inverse of cosine, you get that x is 27.25 degrees. Now, I hope that's been helpful. And please, please subscribe. And please have a look at my uh, other two videos on cosine rule and. 3D um, geometry. Uh, please, please subscribe and let me know how you feel about this. And uh, should you want me to uh, upload any more uh, videos, I'll be very, I'll be glad to help. Okay, I see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.